Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. It's another episode of Throwback Thursday today. And today we're going back to 2013 and opening up a box of 2013 Topps Archives. There's going to be two autographs per box. And as you know, I'm a big fan of the Archive series. I just I kind of like looking at the cards and different designs. And we have the 72 Topps design in this set along with the 85 Topps design and the 1990 Topps design and also 1982. So it looks like there's four different runs of uh, designs in here. Kind of most appropriate is right around the corner, we have 2021 Topps Archives, or sorry, Topps Heritage, which is going to be using the 1972 design, which you'll see here in this 2013 box of archives. So two autographs in here. Now the base set, there's 200 cards in the base set. There's also an additional 45 cards that were short printed. Those are cards number 201 to 245. There's some relics that are randomly inserted in this release. And of course the autographs, which are can be really, really good, or they can be really bad. For example, some of those guys, we've got uh, Charlie Huff autograph as one of the, uh, the big hits in there. Greg Jeffries is another one from that fan favorites list. And then, um, of course, there's some big names in there as well, which uh, we'll see if we can find any of those. I don't want to jinx it, but let's go ahead and start opening this up and see what we can find. Robert is the sponsor for this video. Thank you very much, Robert. If you'd like to become a Patreon member and sponsor a video like these or purchase spots in our case break, you can check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month. Upcoming case breaks, 2021 Don Russ. We also have a brand new mystery pack it's called fishing for trout and uh, i bought every single one so we're guaranteed to get a 2011 mike trout rookie card in that mystery box and here's the look of uh, look at the packs here you can see um <laughs> i don't even know what design this is um usually they kind of use the uh an older wrapper design and just kind of like redo it like this past year for heritage they used a 71 design I don't, i'm not sure exactly which one this is but there's eight cards per pack and 24 packs per box let's go ahead and see what we can find so stars from the 60s 70s 80s and 90s kind of a mixture here you get some of the newer stars some of the older stars and some in between hope we can find some good stuff for you robert these boxes are very tough to come by nowadays there's only one box available left on ebay and it's $300, so um, kind of tough to find for sure. And we're going to open up this rare box now and see what we can find. So there we go. It's the first look, the 1972 design. Now, if you're not familiar with the 72 design, you will be getting very familiar with it soon because the Heritage set coming out on, I think it's March 16th or 17th, is going to be featuring that design prominently. There's a Cole Hamels 82 design, an 85 Kendrys Morales. There's a Buster Posey 1990 Leon Durham, we have an Iwakuma, Lowry, and an Adrian Gonzalez. A little bit different than the archives that I'm used to, The pre, uh, like the, not the previous, but the past couple of years, they've had three different designs, and they kind of chunk those into like two or three cards at a time. So you get like, for example, from this past year, it might give you like three 1955 Topps cards at the top of your pack, and then they would give you uh, maybe like 274, but these are... Uh, alternating pretty good there's a Roy Halliday he is a Hall of Famer CJ Wilson Brandon Belt there's a Dave Parker nice one right there Dave Parker a lot of people think that he should be in the Hall of Fame this is from a set called the mini tall boys um, set so kind of interesting right there there's David Freeze World Series hero from 2011 We've got a Jason Hayward, 1990 Topps Design, and Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg is card number eight in that pack. We're looking for those fan favorite autographs. I hope that we can find it. By the way, guys, I just want to uh, thank you for all of you guys that have hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I hope that you'll do so. We're going to have a live stream coming up on this Sunday night. It's the 85K giveaway. Nice Yadier Molina right there. There's a Mike Trout 83 All-Star Design card, Adam Jones. Jason Mott and Mike Schmidt is the last one right there. But, yeah, we're giving away a whole stack of cards. I put that video out on Tuesday. Ted Williams, Bat Relic, along with the Harmon Killerby 101 and a whole bunch of other cards. You have to be subscribed. You have to like that video. You have to leave a comment. And uh, we'll be picking you guys on Sunday night. So I hope you can participate in that live stream. And even if you can't, you can still subscribe and leave a comment. And I will contact you if you win. There's a Carlos Ruiz. We've got some stickers right here. I think these are actual stickers. 1969 style stickers. Bob Feller, Tom Seaver, JV, Justin Verlander, and Nolan Ryan. A kind of a cool card right there. There's Paul Canerco, Eddie Murray, and Rod Carew. By the way, the backs of the cards look just like they did 
on the original cards. They just have, of course, the uh, copyright 2013 down at the bottom, so you don't mistakenly buy a card that isn't actually a vintage card. Most of you want to do that, but there's some newer collectors that are coming into the hobby that might accidentally make that mistake. There's a Tyler Skaggs rookie card. He, as you may know, unfortunately passed away in his hotel room a couple years ago. There's a Tom Bernanski, and we have a Alex Gordon uh, nice 1990 refractor out of 199. Check that one out. Cool one right there. So congratulations on that one. He just retired uh, over the offseason. Robbie Cano and David Price. Last cards there. All right. Uh, some people always like to see the odds, by the way. So I think before I rip this pack open, I'll show you the odds there. Uh, no purchase necessary. Stuff is long since expired. But if you'd like to look over the odds, never know. Maybe we'll hit a really big hit and we'll have to refer to those odds to see exactly how rare it was. We have the tall, many tall boys, Dave Concepcion, Dan Ugly with the Braves, there's Hanley Ramirez, Coco Crisp, one of the coolest names in baseball, at least back then, always thought that was cool. Some people that don't know anything about baseball are like, that can't be, uh, that's not real. There's really a baseball player named Coco Crisp, George Brett and Jim Palmer. There's Carlos Beltran, David Wright, 1982-style design. Steven Strasburg, there's Anthony Rizzo. There's Mariano Rivera, who's got probably, for my money, the nicest signature in the game. Too bad they didn't put his signature across the card so he could show it off to you. He's got a beautiful uh, signature. I pulled his uh, autograph, I don't know, a handful of times out of different products over the years. Usually it's the higher-end stuff. Uh, I think the most recent one I pulled of his was, um, it might have been out of Panini Flawless. And look at this. Oh, man, this looks like it might be a redemption card. It says, congratulations, you found a redemption for a vintage card from the Topps Vault. It is indeed um, a vintage, I don't even know, maybe this is just not actually the hit. I'm hoping this doesn't count as the hit. This might just be some promotional stuff that sometimes Topps will throw those in their packs to try to get you to participate in one of their programs. They did it with the silver packs this year out of... 2021, uh, kind of advertising their Home Run Challenge program, which is a cool program. If you ever get one of those Home Run Challenge cards, you might want to log on and give it a go. There's a Starling Marte, Jared Weaver, Adam Wainwright still around. He's back now, signed back with the Cardinals, despite being a free agent this year. I guess it would, see, it would seem really weird to see him in any other uniform except for the Cardinals. And Yogi Berra is the last card right there. All right, so we've worked our way through a stack. We don't have really... Anything to show in terms of major value right now? No autographs yet. We did have the nice Alan Alex Gordon refractor. There's Max Kemp, Darwin Barney. That's a name for the past. Mike Miner still around. Another sticker card. These are the Mets, 69 Mets. Uh, obviously, none of these guys played in the 69. They're all from like pretty much the uh, mid-80s Mets. Nice Howard Johnson, Doc Gooden, Daryl Strawberry, and Mookie Wilson. There's John Lester. Jacoby Ellsbury, that deal didn't work out. For the Yankees and Jerickson Provar. That is his rookie card. Nice one right there. All right, so come on, autographs. I'm hoping there's going to be some autos in here for you, Robert. Otherwise, that would be very disappointing. There's a Derek Holland leading things off. Matt Moore. Pedro Alvarez, who led the league in home runs in 2013, actually tied with Paul Goldschmidt with 36. There we go. Lloyd Mosby is the first autograph of the box. So there's going to be two autographs in here. Nice on card auto. You. Blue Jays fans are familiar with Lloyd Mosby. Nice speedy type. Uh, I forget if he batted leadoff for you guys or not. I think he did. But um, nice one right there, Lloyd Mosby. Um, some nice stats in 1983. Stole 26 bags, 315 batting average, 18 dingers. That was a pretty good year. Always love looking at the backs of the baseball cards. Back when I was growing up, there was no internet. So to get my baseball stats, I couldn't just go to baseballreference.com like I do nowadays. You can see their entire batting record. Had to just uh, find the card and flip it over and read uh, read all the stats on the back. There's Chris Davis. There's Estrubal Cabrera. David Murphy. Ryan Vogelsong, former pirate right there. It was kind of terrible for us. And then he went out to San Francisco and... Ended up being pretty good. There's Jonas Cespedes. He's still trying to make a comeback. We'll see how he does. Kind of been out of baseball, just banged up with injuries. I don't think he's played a full season in about three years. That uh, that $75 million three-year deal with the uh, Mets didn't really work out for them. There's Alan Craig. You guys may remember him. He was really good with the Cardinals. Then he got traded uh, 
to the Red Sox and um, just kind of totally disappeared. That's a great Ken Griffey Jr. card early in his career. That picture was probably taken around 1989 or 1990. The kid looking very young right there. Jake, Jake Odorizzi rookie card, Matt Kemp. I think this is the 1972 basketball design or something like that. Let me double check this. This is kind of cool. It's 1972 Tom's basketball card design set checklist. They put together, uh, looks like a, maybe about 20 cards with some major stars. And Matt Kemp was a major star back then. He's, I think he's pretty much out of baseball now. He might have signed a minor league deal last year, but I've kind of lost track of him. Should have been the MVP in 2011, but uh, Ryan Braun ended up um, taking it from. There's Corey Hart and Desmond Jennings. Of course, Ryan Braun won it, and then like a month later, it came out that he was using... Uh, PEDs. Here's our next pack for Robert. A Cal Ripken Jr. is on the back. There's Chris Sale back in his White Sox days. Jared Parker, Matt Harrison, Dylan Bundy still around. There's his rookie card. Robbie Cano, our second Robbie Cano. Nelly Cruz looking more and more like he might end up being a Hall of Famer. Just slugging all those dingers from the DH spot. There's Avisio Garcia. And he's not really showing any signs of slowing down either. Nelson Cruz still getting it done. Next pack up. One more autograph hanging out somewhere in this box. There's a Pablo Sandoval, the Kung Fu Panda. The shirt is coming untucked there and unbuttoned. Man, Pablo um, signed that big contract with the Red Sox, and there's an unflattering picture of him making a throw just like that with his gut hanging out, and a lot of Red Sox fans really got on him about that for being out of shape. Uh, Pablo Sandoval's always been a bigger dude, but has been uh, pretty talented throughout the years, still hanging on. In the big leagues uh, nowadays, there's a Tall Boys Boston Red Sox card. And we have a hit here. It's Wow, Bryce Harper relic? How about that? I, I was not expecting to find a relic in here. I, I did mention that they had them in the set, but that is a good one right there. I, I don't even know what to do with the box. I want to reread the box and see exactly if there is a guaranteed relic in here. It says on the front of the box, there's two fan favorites autographs per box. You can see that right there. So a bonus hit there. Now I need my odds, uh, my odds readers to tell me what the odds are of finding a relic in this is. I could look for it right now, but sometimes I get a little impatient. I don't like to keep you waiting until we get to the next pack. So um, you can tell me what the odds of finding a relic are. Um, I don't know if it's one in every box approximately, but that's a good relic right there. Bryce Harper, 2013. So an early Harper relic from earlier in his career. And uh, there's uh, some kind of crappy names on the relic list. Uh, and some really good names. And honestly, looking at this, Harper is among the top names. You've got Johnny Bench on that relic list. He's the only guy that can maybe beat, Mike Trout would beat Harper as well. But th this is, for my money, the third best relic that you can get out of the entire checklist of 53 relics. And we got it right there. Bryce Harper, check out the back. Very, very nice one. You can see his major league batting record there. Not even really populated because he'd only played one year in the big leagues. His Anytime you see that previous year and um, career line matching up, it means they are very, very new. Typically, it's a rookie card. This is, is not a rookie card, though. His rookie was the year before. But that is a great hit right there for Robert. Congratulations on the Bryce Harper. I'm not sure what that's worth. Usually relics, I usually value relics at 3 to $5 for stars. Uh, a card like that might be worth a little bit more since it's such an early Harper card. So congratulations on that one. That was a really cool card. Flip up the uh, next pack and see what we can find. Edwin Encarnacion, Tim Lincecum, Steven Strasburg, Manny Machado rookie card. Very nice. The best rookie card in the set, Manny Machado. A lot of people kind of hate him. Polarizing figure. Um, but you can't really argue with the success on the field. Had a great season last year, hitting 17 dingers in, I don't know, like 59 games. Equate that out to a full season. He's... Uh, Putting up some big-time numbers, probably over 40 homers total. There's a Bryce Harper. Look how young Harper looks there. No long hair, no lumberjack beard, and a very early Bryce Harper card. Very cool one right there. So, Robert, having some good luck with Harper, and we still have one autograph left. By the way, I hope that you hit that thumbs-up button for the video if you haven't already. I'd very much appreciate that. And don't forget to check us out on Sunday night for our next live stream. We'll be just doing a giveaway. There's Shelby Miller of uh, 85 cards. I'm probably going to throw in extra cards as well for the folks that are in the live stream. I'll likely say, all right, guys, here's an extra bonus. I'll, I'll choose some random video, and I'll say, just go, uh, go leave a comment on this video. We'll pull some extra winners, and 
I think we did that last time. I think I told you the magic word was like Fernando Valenzuela and any comment we pull from this next list that had Valenzuela in the comments would end up winning an extra card. We'll do something similar to that on Sunday night. There's an Alex Rios. Danny Gladden is the next autograph. So we got two old timers, guys that were, you know, around when I was growing up. I, I was born in 1980. I'm 40 years old. So I remember Danny Gladden. Some of you guys remember him as well. Nice that he's on the 1987 card right there. Of course, you guys know the Twins had a great team in 87. Dan Gladden. So congratulations, Robert, on that one. Lloyd Mosby and Danny Gladden. There's a Joe Morgan. Paul Goldsmith. For my money, the Bryce Harper's the better of the three. That was pretty cool. You got that extra hit. Typically, autos of guys like that are just worth a couple bucks. There's a Jim Johnson, former closer right there. We've got another hit. It's going to be a Kyle Loesch out of 199, 1985 refractor. And what is this? <laughs> How about a Mike Trout, a die cut stadium club? I don't even know what this is. What is this? I need my odds, folks. I wish I could read that a little bit better. So we have a stadium club, some sort of die cut card, and it is uh, pretty cool. It's a triumvirate card. So find the two other connected cards to complete the triumvirate. So basically what you do here is you find, I don't know if, if anyone would be able to, to do that because these might be kind of harder to find judging as this is the only, only the first one that we found. But it's the 1998 Stadium Club Triumvirate set. You get the other two, and you can put together a nice big piece of the puzzle there. So, I don't know. Probably worth a little bit. Nice card. I'm not sure if it's worth a ton, but still pretty cool. There's no uh, odds. I looked at the checklist. There's no odds on there, at least on the uh, cardboard connection page that I'm looking at. We've got about five packs left, including this one. Before we head on out of here, we'll see if we get any other hits. There's a nice early Mike Trout card. Of course, his rookie was 2011. You can see... By this time, he'd only had two years in the big leagues. Check out those minor league stats. He was getting it done in the minor leagues, hitting 362, 306, 360 his very first season. Yeah, he was going to be good at, at a very early age. We'll get that one sleeved up. Tony Singrani, I don't know whatever happened to him. A 68 Denny McLean. That's a short print, I do believe. We haven't seen any 68 cards yet. And uh, card number 203, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, 201 to 245 are short prints. So a short printed Denny McLean, 1968. Fittingly enough, that was his career year. Adam Eaton, rookie card, and Justin Morneau, 72 is the last one. So we're down to four more packs left. 2013, I wasn't collecting this. This is the first time I've ever opened any 2013 archives. Pretty cool stuff. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. And we have a stained glass card now after the Al Kaline. What is this? So some pretty cool inserts in this box. It looks like it's a uh, stained glass. I have no idea who this is going to be. Let's find out. It's going to be a Lou Gehrig. Really cool. Check that out, guys. You can kind of see through a stained glass Lou Gehrig card. I'd lo really love to find out what the odds are on, on some of these. Um, let's see if we can find that out. Gallery of Heroes, I believe this is called. Gallery of Heroes Stained Glass. There's 15 different players that they put out there uh, from Pujols, Posey, Ruth, Ripken, Jeter, Robinson, Garrett, Cabrera, Rivera, Mike Trout, Clemente, Koufax, Ted Williams, Willie Mays, Yogi Berra, and uh, cool stuff right there. Lou Gehrig. So I'm liking this box so far. Tops did a nice job in 2013 with this archives release. Here's the next one. Always cool to go back and open something that you've never seen before. It's almost like, even though this is an eight-year-old product, it's like brand new to me and probably a lot of you guys as well. Good old Scott Diamond. I totally forgot about him. Doc Gooden and Matt Kane is the last one there. All right, so we're down to two more packs left. Let's see what we can find from our last two packs. So we've got a Todd Frazier, Mike Moustakis, there's David Ortiz, Ben Zobrist, Derek Jeter, Lance Lynn, Jesus Montero. I used to be a huge Jesus Montero fan back in the day. Jake PV slides on out of my hand there, former Cy Young Award winner. Jesus Montero just never uh, never lived up to the hype. And this is our last pack. Again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have had a great Thursday. Make sure you check us out tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. And um, don't forget about the live stream on Sunday night as we look at our last couple cards there. Albert Pujols, Tom Seaver, and final card is Jose Bautista. So that'll do it. Robert, thank you very much for sponsoring the video. Congrats on the uh, the three hits and the, the cool inserts. 
I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.